Joining me right now to break down more of today's events, Kim Whaley, she's CBS legal analyst. As you watched events, Kim, on Capitol Hill today, House presenting its case, Senate swearing in the Chief Justice. There, there's no turning back at this point, right? No, at this point, it's going to start on Tuesday. It sounds like from Mitch McConnell, Senate Majority Leader's statements that that's the schedule. One o'clock on Tuesday, we had some housekeeping things today. Uh, the president actually has to be summoned to appear, so that is going to be issued over the weekend. Uh, but it looks like we're going to trial. You know, I got to follow that up. Is it likely the president's going to show up? No, he doesn't have to under the rules. Bill Clinton didn't show up, uh, but he is in theory go will respond even if he's not physically there. But so it really is almost like being charged um, in a civil action. You get served with a complaint. That's what's happening and he's going to have to answer to it. Absolutely no chance of a dismissal, which is something the president wanted. Well, there's going to be an opportunity after both sides submit their evidence. Uh, there is an opportunity to for Senate uh, members of the Senate to move to dismiss the charges and there can be debate on that. So it's conceivable um, given the mounting public evidence that is coming out through other outlets, not just through the House impeachment proceedings. I think it's going to be increasingly difficult for Republicans to just give this whole thing the back of the hand and and pretend that there's not nothing serious here. Kim, what about the fact that we keep hearing new stuff? GAO, um, yeah. a, a nonpartisan body of the Congress comes out and says the president broke the law by withholding this money to Ukraine, right? Then you got this guy who's uh, indicted, affiliated with Giuliani, who says the president did know he wants to testify. Are we likely to hear more evidence, more witnesses at this point? Uh, it, that's, a, I think, has to do with the political pressure on the Republican majority in the Senate. We should, as Americans, be hearing from these people. I think they should have been called, frankly, in the House investigative process. The president was stonewalling. I think the courts could have been involved more rigorously to actually get this information to the American public. But we should hear from Parnas. We should hear from John Bolton. We, and now uh, Mr. Parnas implicated the Attorney General of the United States, implicated the Vice President of the United States, implicated Devin Nunes, who was already implicated pursuant to some uh, phone records. So there, there's some serious potential wrongdoing at the very upper echelons of government uh, that regardless of political party, if we're going to retain uh, some sense of order and accountability in government, we at least need to know what's going on. So I hope they call witnesses. Optimally, we would have had an investigation with a special prosecutor, but Bill Barr didn't call one. Right. Good morning. To be continued. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.